right, so far we have dealt with an integral where we went from a finite number to infinity. And then in the second video, we dealt with when I had negative infinity as the lower bound to a number. What we're going to be dealing with in this video is if I, instead of even stopping at an, a finite number at all, we're going to go from negative infinity to infinity. So at the end of this video, you'll be able to evaluate an integral with negative infinity as the lower bound and infinity as its upper bound. All right, um, I'm just going to let you look at this formula that we're given here. Notice basically what is happening is we are going to be finding a limit again. Notice this time it's we're going to be going from negative infinity to a finite number and then from a finite number to infinity. We are going to be splitting this up into two parts. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to turn it into two problems. We're going to turn it into a negative infinity problem and a positive infinity problem. Okay, so you might be wondering, how do I split it? It really doesn't matter. So we're going to start at negative infinity, and I need to go to some x value. I'm going to choose x equals 0 because I do notice if I were to plug 0 into this bottom part, um, I can at least take the 3 halves power of 4. So that's why I'm going to choose 0. You don't have to. You can pick something else, but I think that will be easiest. So we're going to go from negative infinity to 0 of this function. And then we're going to add, starting at 0, and we'll go to infinity of x over x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves in this formula. Actually, I should have a dx on it as well. Shame on me. All right, so now we have two problems. We have one from the first video, one from the first video, one from the second video. So that's how we're going to tackle this. If you are wondering what does this picture look like, this picture actually looks something like this. So we're basically finding the area under the curve from negative infinity to zero and then zero to infinity. So that's what we're looking for and we're going to see is there an actual answer for the area. All right, so dealing with this first one, again I'm just going to call this W. So we're going to find the limit as W approaches negative infinity of W to zero of x over x squared plus four to the three halves and then plus, then I'm going to find, I'm going to call this up here w the second time, we'll find the limit as w approaches infinity of 0 to w over x over x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves. Okay, so we're set. Now you might be thinking when we're working each one of these, as soon as you see this x squared plus 4 into the 3 halves, you might be thinking, oh, trigonometric substitution. But the first thing that we always want to check for is u substitution. So both of these are actually a simple u substitution. So when we do this, let's let u equal x squared plus 4, which would mean du is going to equal 2x. And I do have the x, I'm just missing the 2, so 1 half is going to go on the outside, so I'll have 1 half. And then this will actually be u to the negative 3 halves. So if I take the integral of that, I'll get 1 half. If I increase my power by 1, I'll get u to the negative 1 half, and then the reciprocal of that would be negative 2. So I actually end up getting negative u to the negative 1 half, which would simplify as negative 1 over the square root of u, which would be 1 over the square root of x squared plus 4. Okay, now I get to evaluate that at w and at 0. I used all my space, so well. All right, so if I plug in 0, um, I will get negative 1 half. And then minus, if I plug in w, I'll get negative 1 over the square root of w squared plus 4. And those will turn into positives. OK, so this specific problem I took as far as I could possibly go. And now I want to find the limit of that as w approaches infinity, negative infinity. So we're going to let w approach negative infinity. So now, if I were to put negative infinity in here, okay, so negative infinity if I square it will be positive infinity, plus 4 is still a infinity, the square root of infinity is still infinity, 1 divided by infinity is 0, so this whole problem actually turns into negative 1 half. All right, so now let's go over here and do this problem. All right, we have already found that my limit, my um, integral on this one is going to be negative 1 over x squared, the square root of x squared plus 4. I'm going to evaluate this time at w and 0. So when I plug w in, I'm going to get negative 1 over the square root of w squared plus 4, and then minus 0 squared plus 4 would be 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so I'll get negative 1 half. 
All right, so that will turn to plus one half. Okay, so this is as far as I can take that integral. So now I need to find the limit of that answer when as w approaches infinity. So if I plug in infinity here, I'll get infinity squared is again infinity plus four is infinity. The square root of infinity is infinity. Negative one divided by infinity is zero. So I'll get zero plus one half, which gives me one half. So you'll notice I've got a plus sign in between here. My first answer was negative one half plus my second answer was one half and then negative one half plus one half is zero. So after all that work we found out that the area under that curve is zero. And actually before we even started the problem you probably would have noticed that the area underneath and the area on top were both the same except where they were opposites so they would have canceled each other out in the first place but now using calculus we were actually able to find that out so hopefully now you can find a limit an integral when we have negative infinity as the lower bound and infinity as the upper bound